Hi everyone, welcome to Tonic Live with me, Owen. And me, Alison. Uh, what is Tonic Live? If you haven't joined us before, Tonic Live are live papercraft tutorials with Alison, and I go through your questions and suggestions on the iPad here. Um, how to join in. So this is a live tutorial, you can join in, it's not a recorded video, you can join in by commenting at any time, we can see it here. Um, you can watch on Facebook and on YouTube. So if you're watching on Facebook, um, you can go over to YouTube and watch it there if you like as well, because we're live on our, on our YouTube channel, on, face, on, um, on our Tonic Studios YouTube channel. But you can also watch on Facebook as well, because we're on Facebook Live there to comment. Um, we're back in the old studio. There are old stomping grounds. <laughs> Welcome we're back home. Here. Um, yeah, just uh, doing a few changes up there. So we thought, oh, we'll bring it back home. We'll take Tonic Live back to where it, where it all where began. Where it started. Uh, to, to, to where it started there. So, um, yeah, so we're back here. And today, I'll just say check where everyone's live and never join us. Yeah, and today we're going to be doing a rounded strip Valentine's box. We right, now that's, that's, that's what we're doing. So you can see we that I'm looking at it for confirmation there. That, that's, what, that's, that's, that's what we're doing. What if it said no then? I go, <laughs> turn the mics off, Dan. Yeah, uh, Dan, Dan's with us too. Um, Dan, part of the Tonic Trio there. Uh, Dan does the cameras. Hopefully you can hear him. He's a little further away than he usually is, so hopefully you can hear him. Oh, my mic, hopefully you can oh. hear me a bit clearer as well. Now, now my mic's there um, and working. Yeah, and, and hope everyone's having a, having a good week so far. So yeah, talk us through it now. Okie dokie. Well, last week we had a request for something for the men. So I thought, well, I would do something that could be a little bit craft unisex. Related, yeah, cool. Yes, yeah. craft Something for the men. <laughs> <laughs> yes, definitely craft related. So this is what I came up with. I thought maybe you've got a nice prezi you want to give the man in your life for Valentine's Day. Yeah. So it's got a, it's quite a big size box. You know, nice six by six box. I see, we were on a chat a little bit before and it's not just, you know, I know we've had some, some suggestions saying that people want to see, you know, things for things for men because they struggle for ideas. Yeah. But this is great for, you know, a lady. This could be anyone. The lady in your life as well, as well or, yeah. or anyone. Or, you know, it's a, just a nice gift. It's uh, you know, not just for men as well. I mean, a lot of the time you could do exactly the same thing, just change the colours. So if you've done this in pinks or more, more whites than black. So if you've done maybe the bottom of the box in white rather than black, then I think it would be more for a lady yeah, then. Yeah, 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 it's more fun. So let's start then. I'm going to mm -hmm. pop the box down by there and I'll tell you what I've used to start with. So I have used, let's start with these first. I have used our Celtic and Bow rounded strip die set. The reason I went with the Celtic again, because I thought it was a little bit more of a man's theme. And these are being launched in the shops this week, so they should be in craft shops nearer yeah. to you. This is our flower and heart strip die set, which is where I've taken the hearts from. And I've also used our traditional hearts layering basics die set. So that's the three. And um, what I'll do is I'll put them in uh everything that we use during the show I and mean, some of the older videos maybe there aren't the the ingredients i say of, of of what has been used uh, in the project but we'll make sure they are there after date along with the code so if you ever want to find any of the products you see here so you, you see ali using it, any of these three um just there'll be a little code after the description of the product and you can google that followed by a tonic and you'll find it online you'll find it throughout the trade and yeah widely available and a little tip for the card i made last week which i don't actually have here um, all the instructions are on my blog and my blog is craftyhugsandmore.blogspot.co.uk Or dot .com potentially. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it could be either and I'm you never sure so which. Sad. I'm never sure which. Yeah. But it is definitely Crafty Hugs and More and that will also go up onto the blog yeah. tonic page. What I was going to say, what I'll do then, yeah, it'll go on the, yeah, the blog Tonic page as well. So uh, the blog that goes along with, with Tonic, with loads of our crafters place uh, their blog posts on. Yeah, we'll have, the, we'll have the, you know, make along to this. So, you know, if you can watch the video and all the instructions. So if you yeah. do miss any measurements, don't worry, because it's all there in the, uh, in the blog post, okay? But I've also included the YouTube video on the blog post as well. So there's lots of links on there that you can pick up. And I'm trying to put them in metric and in imperial measurements. That's it. Good for, for, you you, inches, for you inches, for you inches and your centimetres, girls. Yes, <laughs> I'm trying to cover all. <laughs> yeah, trying to cover. Yeah, trying to cover it all. But yeah, that, that's so. Hopefully, you'll be able to work it out, yeah. guys, and, and do it for me. So for the imperial measurements today, <laughs> I would use a twelve by twelve piece of cardstock. But I'm actually going to do this for the metric girls. So I'm doing oh. it as. 30 centimetres by 30 centimetres. 
So I've kind of trimmed the card yeah. down a little bit. So I've got a scoring board and I am scoring at 15 centimetres. This would be six inches if you're doing the old money. Turn it round. <laughs> Is that a different one again? Is that a different one again? Yeah, yeah. Old money. <laughs> Imperial. 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 Yeah. It's for gold sovereigns. Yes. And, uh, crowns. crowns. Yeah, yeah. So we've got a cross on there. So what I'm going to do is take a, a nice big scissors and cut right up to the cross line, but no further. And then on the other side then, I'm going to leave roughly a centimetre or half inch, whichever. It's not an exact measurement, so it doesn't really matter. And then I'm just going to chamfer the corners just to neaten it up at the end. Chamfer, you mentioned that. Chamfer. I haven't heard that before. That's chamfer. Make a tab. Yeah. yeah. Chamfering is, is that edge, is that slanted edge. And I think it's a woodwork term. Yeah. Look at me being all I know, chamfer. That's been what? How many shows have we done? And you've never. I've never the said chamf a chamfer. Got the chamfers out. <laughs> Maybe the chamfers, but not yeah, the chamfers. The chamfers. <laughs> okay, so I'm just going to fold along the lines now. And, right, bear with me a sec. I'm just making sure all my lines are straight. And um, we're going to fold the tab in. Uh, hopefully you can see everything, guys. If there's anything you can't see clearly, or you'd like to move any cameras closer, things like that, just let us know, because we can, we can do that for you. Okay, and I've repeated that twice. So, what we're going to do now, I've got to think now which way this goes. You've basically got one, two L shapes and the middle bit is going to overlap. So you get a nice big cross. So your, your tabs should be opposite each other. So I'm just going to pop a little bit of our good old funky glue. Yeah, funky glue. I'll say some highs in the meantime. By the way, guys, yeah, join in. Say hi. Say what you're doing. Say where you're from. Say what you're, you're crafting with at the moment. Say what projects you're working on. Um, yeah, and let us know. So we've got a few people here. Uh, Elaine McRobbie says hi. She was first with the hi. Uh, hi, Elaine. Deb Twist as well says afternoon. So, yeah, good afternoon to, to you, Deb, as well. Uh, Mary Hutler. Uh, hi, everyone. Sandra Whiteman. Hi, Owen and Alison. Looking forward to today's makes and all the fun that goes with it. Yeah. <laughs> all of us. It's good, good to be back. I think we had actually good fun on, I think, Friday's show or the last tea time. That was mainly... We had more giggles than that, anything that was, there, didn't we? It was a lot of... Uh, we did all the, the wedding stones. Like We, we did all those. Uh, yeah. so if you, yes, we did. You need to clue up on that. You know, some of you... <laughs> You know, what, double, what is a double diamond wedding? Well, that's a sneak peek for the, the previous video if, uh, if you want to check that out. And... Um, yeah, see where it says afternoon uh, from a sunny but cold fair. Um, yeah, are you guys, is snow on the way to you guys, where, wherever you are? Uh, at oh, the moment? I hope not. In South Wales, we're meant to. Thursday and Friday, there's been, there's been talk. There's been talk. There's, there's been, been snow been talk, but I, yeah. I checked don't. the weather this morning, Bridgend snow, and it, it didn't look too promising. Yeah. I don't oh. know. Do, well, what's it like with you guys? Maybe some of you have got snow already, maybe not uh, more northern viewers here, but yeah, let us know. If there's anyone in the Mountain Ash or, or um, Aberdeer area, please let me know it's not snowing up there. Yeah. <laughs> Because I'm on my way up there later. Someone will write in now. I think we get there's someone from Minnesota. I think who watches <laughs> regularly, and I'm pretty sure there'll be yeah. there'll be some yeah. snow there. I, yeah. I saw. Put, put us all to shame. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah, yeah that so were a few inches. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Ten. Yeah. A few yeah. meters of snow there. I yeah. Uh, Margaret Taylor. Hi guys. Nice to see you. Uh, Carl. Hello and craft the noon tonic trio. Thanks, Carl. Uh, Donna Joy. Afternoon the tonic trio. Got a bit excited when I saw there would be stripping today. Oh. <laughs> Yeah, me and Dan are going to close It's not me, that. Donna. <laughs> I'm not doing any stripping. <laughs> Tonic after dark. Uh, yeah. <laughs> bit of a chip and dale thing. These are a bit younger. I'm not going to say what they are going to do. Magic. Uh... <laughs> Magic Tonic. Magic Tonic, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Okay. So we've got our tabs, but I've also cut two strips, and you can cut these out of the bit you've cut off. So these are 15 centimetres by two centimetres roughly and they're scored in the centre. So old measurements would be six inches by an inch and scored at, at half an inch in the centre. These extra bits are going to go on the sides that don't have the, the tabs on because obviously we want the box to join together otherwise everything would be falling out to the side. Uh, Amanda Davis taking a well-deserved break from stripping seats to to watch you guys. There's a lot of stripping included in this in the show. <laughs> uh, so, so crafting, is that is that like taking 
taking the upholstery out of a seat and, and starting again? Yeah. Or was that like I did see something Amanda was doing and I've forgotten Amanda. Yeah. Sorry, you've yeah. got a big project on from what I remember. Yeah, ch check it on Tonic Live chat. We can always show you know show some stuff on there. Yeah, and um, the Tonic Live chat page, by the way, is the, is the Facebook page that goes along with these shows. So. If you want to show, we do a Friday show. We show off your makes and you know everything tonic there. So yeah, tonic live chat page. And if you put hashtag uh, show tonic afterwards, it's all there. But if you join the group, you'll see what everyone else is doing, and, and you'll be able to do it that way. I think a lot of crafters tend to have a go at anything. You know, whatever's going, we want to try, don't we? I think it's a good mental attitude to have to be able to you know to try, not not just think I can't do it. Exactly. It's, it's to go at it and, and say, okay, you know, I'll give it a try. You know, I can only get, you know, I'm going to get better from it. And, That's right. And do it. So it's a good uh, attitude a lot of crafters have. Uh, what else have I got here? Because I think a lot of crafters started off cross-stitching. Yeah. Or oh, a lot of card crafters, should I say. Well, I was saying, and let, then they let us on. know, like, what, what you started with. What was your your gateway uh, <laughs> in, into, into craft? <laughs> Gateway's got a negative term these days. Yeah, but does, I, I think, yeah. yeah, what got you into craft? What was, yeah, what, what was cross-stitch for you, was it? Craft originally, I think, I think it starts as a child when you have your colouring pencils and your colouring books. I mean, now we're recognising it more that people are colouring with their books. Um, you know, an adult colouring side of things. It's come, yeah, it's come back. I know that's, I so like my girlfriend, she loves those adult colouring books. And like yeah. Millie Marotta, other colouring books are available. But they, <laughs> they, they tend to be the most popular ones. And, and it's just, it's cool that that's... I think there was a big thing on at the moment whether they should be taxed or not because there is a oh. uh, but should oh, put a VAT on it. Yeah, yeah, but yeah. They, you know, I think it's because it's Ooh, just that time, so it's, yeah. That's, that's not bad. good. Is I, th I think they've said no, but I think it's okay. That's not good. No, we don't like being taxed but, on anything. Yeah, was that maybe that's it? That's how you got into in, into crafting. Anyway. I think mine was knitting. That was my first, and um, I can remember knitting my grandfather a scarf. You heard it food first, exclusive to Tiffany. <laughs> yeah. How Alison started. How yes, she began. it was more holy than anything. I was about six, I think. I thought maybe going to cross on it or something. Yeah, that was the yeah, no, it was religious. No, it was just full of holes. <laughs> <laughs> but my grandfather was absolutely delightful, and whatever I had made him, he would wear. So bless him, he would pick me up from school, um, wearing this holy scarf, and, uh, and take me home. Oh, Bless nice. him. Nice, yeah. I know. Yeah, no, I, I think. I mean, my grandfather was like seventy when I was born, so <laughs> he wasn't a <laughs> youngster. <laughs> he, do, doesn't, he doesn't have to be fashion conscious. Then. I'm just going to grab. Oh the, no! I don't know if you could grab the iPad charge at that. I, I, for, oh. I, it's running down fairly quickly. I think with all your comments, it's. Uh, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. It, it, it's, have we got a plug it's over running there? down. Yeah, there's a plug over here. Um, but yeah, yeah. There you go. So, you've got the so there's our box together. So basically, look at me now. I am. Woo! Special arm there. Bit of Dan. Go on, let him know. Um, I've just stuck all the tabs just to make the, the base of our box. So I'm going to pop that to the back for a minute, and then I'm going to move on to the lid. So I've actually got a piece of card here. I've got to think now what measurements I used. This is 29 and a half centimetres. If it's, if you're using the old money, oh, what am I going to think now on this one? We'll, we'll, we'll put it in your blog anyway, don't <laughs> I'll worry. I'll put it in we'll, the blog. I'll put it in the blog, we'll work no, it out. Because it it I can't remember anyway. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm scoring this at seven centimetres. And then turn it, because it's not going to be the same on each side. So it's seven centimetres on both sides. And then we're going to cut the, um, the little strip die into the pattern, into the card, sorry. I think I've got a few little bits left. So lining up the die, you need to make sure that your die is straight along the bottom. So the easiest way I find, as I was showing you last week, to use your scoring board as a straight line, rather than getting a tape measure out or a ruler and thinking, right, way straight, I use the lines on my mat. So I've got my card lined up on a, not any particular line, just a straight line. And then I'm going to line the little knobbly bit, if you can see that, on the bottom of the die, at the base. And I want that roughly in the centre. So I'm going to be looking at how much is on each side of the die. 
so I actually don't measure that but I want the little line at the top to be in the same place both sides I mean a centimeter here and there is not going to make any difference I said this glass mat by the way guys this is uh, a tonic studios glass mat and these are available uh, throughout the trade so if you are in the market for a glass mat uh, you're looking at, maybe you haven't had a glass mat before and you're thinking one of the benefits everything yeah yeah check that out because you won't go far wrong with uh, a tonic glass mat I couldn't be without a glass mat now I've got to be honest you see in a lot of videos so a lot of maybe other people that you follow uh, who make cards you know um, on YouTube or wherever you often the time you'll see this pop up yeah. or you'll see the tonic guillotine pop up in there so that might be your first experience of tonic would be that yeah. or with crystal drop but yeah we do you know, do plenty of uh, plenty of products which would be you know, good for your craft space so there's our little pattern and I'm going to do exactly the same on the other side I haven't given you oh hold on I may be able to give you no I'll write it in my blog the measurements that's going to be the go-to from now on. <laughs> it is it's in the blog don't worry. The you don't even have to watch it. it's in the blog don't worry um I, loads of people saying hi I got I really... did write it down and I've forgotten to bring the <laughs> measurements with me I got a backlog here our people have said hi I got Rosalind saying hi she's going to watch later all the shows by the way if you miss any of it all in it it's up on, on YouTube as well it's not working that's okay it's just I suppose you have snow that's... and then it can rain yeah, after yeah. I guess a bit of both and then Sarah who I imagine is up north she has snow tomorrow or down south apparently yeah um, but yeah I, I heard on on the radio today good. I think London's not having snow like so around that area but maybe in could be cancelled I stuff. think the you know like who is like who's actually the queen decides that it's <laughs> sorry <laughs> one <laughs> thing I've left right. um, so I've got some little strips of card and these are about a centimetre in width there's no set length because I'm going to join each of the corners. You don't want them too wide. So I would say either, they're so little now, I can't even fold them. Um, <laughs> I would say possibly about a quarter of an inch, half an inch wide with a quarter of an inch fold on them. Cool. I know, <laughs> I know. Put it on the blog. We'll be on the blog. <laughs> It's taken me all morning yeah. to get the blog going. I know, Ali's been t on the laptop all morning oh. in, in the office. I've been like checking in. You're you right, Ali, like there. She's just going, the it's, pictures won't upload. Just look up I on know. the screen and just. So you better all to read the blog. I'm message my husband. How do I get on my laptop? I know, so we, <laughs> you, you said you have a problem remembering the passwords and stuff. Oh, I can never remember a password. I've got so many, and you think, right, I'll remember that now. I know. But you I don't. Don't. That's how it generally how it works, and you think, oh, I'll definitely remember that, obviously. I don't. The... I am awful. First pet I ever had. Oh, okay. it's not mine, by the way. But uh, that's what people do use. Yeah. Use that kind of. Oh, I've done all that. I've done all that, and I still forget it. <laughs> right. So we're going to pop one of these little foldy strips in each corner, and these will hold all the top together. Then. So you want the fold to be exactly on the corner of the die. So I don't know whether. I think you can see, we haven't used the near cam, we the spider cam we? since we're back over, but here you go. So if you do want to see anything a little bit closer, shout out and hopefully I'll be so ahead right, enough on the comments. It's to do right it. on the edge. There you go. And then this excess here, I'll trim off as well. Once they're all together. There we go. Uh, oh my God. Which so, is why I don't have a set amount or a set length. Sue, uh, Ali McRobbie says no snow in the northeast, no Scotland yet. Um, Sue here says snow really reaches this far south, plus too much salt in the air to be close to the sea. Oh, I, I, yeah, where is Sue? I, you've said before where you're based, Sue, so I think yeah, is it, it must be really down south there, on the Oops. coast, by the sounds of it. Brighton, potentially Brighton. Um, I've got, what have I got? So Sue here um, from Farham as well, so they're they having the chat on there. What have we got from uh, Miami Beach, Florida? Wow. So hopefully it's, hopefully it's not snow in there. Yeah, hopefully it's not snow in there. Um, so Amanda Shop says, hi guys, watching from my sick bed. Oh, I hope you're feeling, oh, hope you're feeling all right, Amanda. Not too well. Um, I'm if trying to read this. There's an Italian one. Yeah, I know. <laughs> oh, so, someone's written an Italian comment. Don't Ciao, uh, Dial Italia. Hello, by the south of Italy. Oh, oh south of Italy. lovely. It, you know, it does get cold in Italy as well. Yeah. You know, so, you know, potentially. Well, the temperatures in Greece have been horrendous, haven't they? Really They've had snow. Yeah, I think on the continent, they do, you know, it does, does stay cold. 
in the winter. Who else have we got here? Um, hi from sunny Arizona. Uh, hi, Tracy. Uh, Shirley Manuel. Hi, guys. You two make me laugh. It's nice to see you after the year. Well, and, and Dan. <laughs> we, 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 <laughs> well, Dan, Dan makes a bit of fun as well. Yeah, Dan's here. Hopefully you can hear. occasionally funny. Uh, <laughs> 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 yeah, we're going to get me to try and get down like a mic. He's got his funny head on he, today. He, yeah, he's, he does. And just enjoying being back to the old office. If you're watching previous shows, yeah, we've, we've moved. This was where we started. This was the the way it was born. I was just going to say, is Tonic the right way round? Because we did have episodes where Tonic was facing the wrong way. <laughs> In the didn't early we? days. That, that was before we had all this fancy tech. Though, yeah. Oh, well, I don't on understand fancy tech. You know that. <laughs> I know. It's, it's back on the iPad, though. Oh, is that what it was? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, I haven't got a clue. <laughs> it shows how far behind I am on the comments. The people are now, I'm reading the ones saying where people got into crafting. So, uh, oh, I just, lovely. Uh, just start I with like my grand. So this is Christine. Uh, she says, I start with my grandmother teaching me crochet and went from there. That's it. That, that's how you get involved. I think, yeah, old, your older relative or someone who's into crafting or just someone takes sometimes. Cause if just you're a house, little bit of time usually well, sometimes. If, if, you have, if your house isn't a crafty house and stuff, it's difficult maybe to get into craft yeah. like outside. Um, hiding, bringing in a, a craft mag or, or something like that. But I, I guess you've got to, you know, if you have a relative who's into what craft. What did you used and, to and do in school, though? Did you used to do crafty things yeah, in well, school? We'd have, like, design technology. And, and you'd have, like, you'd have a food module which go on for a term. And then you'd have one where you'd But that like was a, rubbish. Yeah, that was, was terrible was rubbish, if you yeah. did the same as my son. <laughs> it was rubbish. Sorry, Mrs. Horrell, if you, if you are watching. Uh, but, but there was... Um, one other one we do is we do this, a paper, newspaper bat rack. Do you, know, right. do you know where you would keep all your newspapers? Right, well, they, they would have uh, a newspaper rack where you'd do like, it was a bit of sort of stenciling and screen printing and stuff like that, but it was, um, and a bit of sewing. So it was a bit of, that was kind of getting you into textiles and, right. and into that. So which I guess you catch paper crafters, it's kind of textiles ish based, especially mixed media. And, and people oh, do I that. made but, a penny for, by the time I'd made it, it didn't fit me. What the, <laughs> <laughs> How long are we making it? <laughs> are you? <laughs> Decade later, <laughs> you've grown. No, I grew fast, you're not, you're believe you me. Yeah, yeah. Oh, the length, there was plenty of length. It just <laughs> didn't fit me anywhere else. <laughs> I, I got, um, uh, Marie Poole said it started with needle craft, knitting, then progressed to card craft. Now I'm doing crochet. So we've got the reverse. Oh, Someone started with crochet and it. Oh, full the, circle. That, that is, is craft for you. you know, that it is takes lovely. It all, all around. So there we are. There's a box lid together now, and I'm just going to trim off. There we are. You can see all the little extra bits on the side. So we literally is just chop those off. Oops. A bit of a chunky scissors here. Um, someone else said, I, uh, Sue here says, I started uh, with rug making and sewing with my mum. Making a rug. Oh, I remember making rugs. How do you make a rug? How do you even yeah. start with a rug? You start with a rug canvas. Well, you could, there's either rag, rag rugging. Rag rugging, I think it's called. I feel like I've only just got to grips. I've right? only just got to grips with paper craft in the last. <laughs> me, me and Owen have no idea. Like rag rugging. Like, my mother used to make them. It's an alien concept to me. Like I'm just so confused. By them. They used to cut bits of fabric and put them through sacking. That this was in the war. My mother told me. Yeah. But what we used to buy when I made them was a piece of canvas, and it looked like. I did, did you ever do cross stitch in school where you made yeah, samplers? Yeah, yeah, I, I know, yeah, I know. And yeah. you had the holes in the I know, the, yeah, the fabric. I know. Yeah. It was like a bigger version of that. And you had a hook then. They used to hook the wool through it. Oh, okay. I can imagine I visualise that now. Yeah. If you're doing, you're just putting it, yeah, yeah if it's yeah, larger. Yeah. Like, yeah. Like, almost like weaving. Like yeah, like yeah. weaving with it. Yeah, yeah. 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 So you used okay. to tie a knot with each piece of wool. <laughs> so there's, there's the bottom and the top together. So now we're just going to decorate it. Ooh. I know. <laughs> so my next bit of cutting. Mm. <laughs> oh, <laughs> I know. I know. <laughs> so what I've done, I wasn't sure whether any of you were aware of these little dies. And they're, they're fabulous little dies. As I say, there's two in a set. Hold on, i got a bit of sticky in there. I'm just going to hold it in place. So we've got flowers and we've got um, hearts in this set. So there's a central die that will cut the hearts, which is what I've done here. Whoops, as I drop yeah, it. Get it with it. Hmm? Oh yeah, yeah, there we go, yeah. Okay, so it's cut that. It will emboss as well, there's a nice embossed area. But because I'm gonna recut it, I haven't embossed it. 
Then I've taken a strip of white card and I've put the strip down the edge in and cut the one edge in panel. So that now fits perfectly and it gives a little layer behind the heart. So, you know, most of our dies, if you wanted a layer around it, you'd have to fussy cut it. But this tiny little die gives you the ability to do a layer all cut for you. Is fussy cutting, is that just freehand? Freehand cutting, yeah, freehand. yeah, it's fussy cutting. And then to get it even all the way across yeah. is actually quite hard, <laughs> <laughs> to yeah. say the least. I'm not the best fussy cutter. So you leave as much border as you want. So I'm just leaving a fairly small border just to match the others because I wanted it to stand out on the top of my box. Now I'm not sure whether this works with all the dies because I've actually only tried it on this one. But it may well work with the others as well. So they're not designed to work both sides of the die but I found if you moved the die along you could also cut the other side all bar one little bit where you would have to recut it if you wanted a full length but because I don't need the full length of the die anyway the amount that was cut was enough for me so I'm just going to pop a little bit of tape in place and then I'm going to cut it so I'm just going to grab my plate. awesome I'll say hi to a few people uh, Mandy says hey uh, Leslie says hi hi Leslie um, Amanda Davis says, first I crafted making a uh, paper doll outfits and mum would draw figures and I would dress them up oh. as a seamstress. That's it. Yeah, my, my mum's all, she's a, like makes wedding dresses, so she's always been like a sewer. That's been just fabric and cotton and they're the house. I think, yeah, that's, yeah. that's how it is. Yeah, I think, yeah. I didn't go into sewing, but I had a grasp of how it works, you know, overlockers. I know all the buzz too. I, 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 know, I, know how they, I know how it all goes. But you didn't know about the haberdashers in the beginning. I know, but I never You probably never didn't know that. the term. She probably said I the I never the said, she just go, I said, I used to take me as a kid, like to that, to the singer shop, the one in Virginia. Yes. Like I said, and that was, yeah. just sitting by the fabrics. So there's our little, <laughs> our little border. So if we wanted to, we could just have a plain edge on one side. If it was on our card, we wouldn't have to put the double edge on. So let's get my box back. So I'm just going to pop this around the edges of the box. So as I say, I haven't cut that end. So that would be the bit that I'm going to cut off. So a little bit of funky glue again. Yeah, sticking it on. Um, I've got a uh, Mandy says cold and windy in Cleethorpes. That's be nice. Uh, Andy uh, Medic says uh, we are fortunate to have uh, some of Alison's very own craft work hanging in our <laughs> guest room wall in Re uh, you, you probably know as well as Raboth Beach in Delaware, USA. Love Tonic Studios. You got a good one. Yeah. So you certainly they, they, are, they, they know Andrew. You then, don't they? I Andy. think you've got my hair in rather than hard day there, <laughs> if I remember rightly. Yeah, a Welsh. That's Welsh. Yeah. By the way, guys, Andy's Welsh. Both, yeah, Andy's Welsh. Andy's so Welsh. Yeah, <laughs> that's why he's got my hair in lad when had I. I'm sure that's what I did for Andy. Um, I was say, so uh, I'm uh, overlapping just slightly. And then we're going to trim off the other side. I mean, normally I would wait for that to dry and then just bend it round the edge. So you can see there, I've got a little, little tab on each. You may need to trim a little bit extra off. But we shall see as we go in around. So you can see there. You can see some the bits. Cam. Oh, there we are. Yeah, Exit. Yeah, Excellent. Yeah, you can see Brilliant. that. And on the top cam, you can probably see a little bit as yeah. well then. Down switch. There we go. Okay. So it's just a tiny overlap. And um, what I found was you could probably snip a tiny bit. This one is a little bit big on the edge there. So I'm just going to take a little bit off the top and bottom. Yeah. Yeah, we got here. Um, I've got uh, Danita Adams here in the stage. Went from single digits freezing the past week to 54 degrees spring weather. Yeah, it is. The weather wow. a bit strange at the moment. Um, it is winter. a bit odd, isn't it? Uh, and Christine Meyer says, yes, usually a lot of snow here in Norway, but in the place I live, it doesn't have that much snow, which I think is. Very southern. I guess. Yeah, mainly southern, but. Again, okay. people. For, when you live outside those sort of countries, you think, yeah, it's always snowing always in Norway. Snow. Yeah, <laughs> like people in Wales think. They always think it's raining here. Yeah. 
Which it usually is. We're coal, we're coal miners and we all sing. So that's kind of... <laughs> which only one of, the, one of those is true. Well, yeah. we've, made, we've we moved do all up because people yeah. used to think we lived in caves. So. Yeah, but that's, you know, yeah. people don't do this. So, oh, you've got electricity in Wales now. People don't do that so much anymore. No. Yeah, yeah. It does I, rain a lot here in, in South Wales. It rain a lot. Yeah. I remember when I first went to work in Cardiff, people used to say to me, you don't live on the side of the mountain? Yeah, yeah. No. Ah, <laughs> oh, I have heard that. No. <laughs> well, this is going back now, 30 odd years ago. Those silly folks. The silly folks. Well, exactly. You know, was <laughs> if. <laughs> of course I don't. We're not, not, everyone. not everyone. Not everyone yeah. does. No. Alison was one of the lucky ones. <laughs> <laughs> she had a shock. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, <laughs> I got uh, Sheila Emson. Yeah, 2010 was uh, when we moved here. On the day we moved in, December the first, we couldn't get a car in and out for ten days. So yeah, you moved wow. in 2010. So that was, I think it was, a, it must have been snow all across the UK. It was. It uh, was. It was horrendous. Um, and Debbie Cates on uh, Cast Day, uh, Cast on YouTube says, "Love the box and love Tonic Studios days." Oh, glad oh you enjoy thank them. you. That's what I mean. This is only a tiny selection of of dyes that we've had out. You know, if you Google Tonic Studios online, you can see a full range, whether it be from Crystal oh, yeah. drops you've seen, this Nouveau, uh, which is done by Tonic Studios, or our tools, or our dyes. There's, there's so much out there. So, you know, watch back our other videos. You may see something you like. I'm just going to leave those there a sec, just to dry, and then I will trim the edges off. So, a little bit of ribbon now. Oh, I tell you what, should we do the top first? I think we'll decorate the top. You're the boss. Yeah. Am I the boss today? <laughs> you are, always. Ah. So, I've cut some white and black squares just to fit on the top and I do know the measurements of these the first one is 14 and a half centimeter square the next one is 14 and the next one is 13 because I wanted a bigger gap so I'm just going to stick them all together and I don't know where to put this in a minute sorry do you want to put it above with me so yeah, it's all right it's all right it's not, not going to tip no there we go so we're going to pop a little bit of funky glue on the back like I said, I mentioned dyes and tools, you know, you've got the glues as well. That's, you know, we've got plenty of glues out there. Your funky glue is one of the, the most popular and oh, I lasts love a long time. Glue. And you know, Ali's using them on pretty much every craft project we've done um, We've done since. The only time yeah. we ever use tape is mainly if we're time constraints. If, you That's know, right. On a show, like we, do, we haven't got the time to wait for it to dry. But yeah, you know, you know, try it out. If you haven't tried or it's your first time watching, Oops. you may not know what Tonic Steerus is. Yeah, Google us, you know, find out a little bit more. But there's plenty of craft projects. Lots of bits of pens and stuff we've got as well. But new pens and stamps. Full range. Definitely. So on the box I've made, I have put, um, I've laid it on top with some foam pads, but time being what it is, I will stick it down for today because it takes me ages to peel the back off the foam pads. So a little bit of glue and that will hold it on the top. So again, I mean, if you're not thinking of Valentine's Day, you could make this box for Mother's Day with a lovely gift for your mum in there. When's Mother's Day? Oh, it's March <laughs> time. Yeah. I don't know the date, but it's, it's March. <laughs> it is March. I, yeah, it is March time. It's got it on my calendar somewhere, so I know I can find that. Your mother be unhappy if you haven't got it on no, your calendar. I know. I know. I, know well, I know what it is, Mum, if you're watching. I know. <laughs> I we know. have lots of birthdays in what we... We don't have as many now, but we used to have lots of birthdays in March. And either my mother would share her birthday with Mother's Day, or my son would. Or my mother-in-law, because they were all in March. Any of you out there, you're born on a special occasion, maybe Christmas Day, things like that. Do you resent it, or do you enjoy it that you get double the stuff? I always wonder with that. Our next-door neighbour was born on Christmas Day, and I kind of think, oh. are you, do you enjoy sharing it with the... You know, you get everyone around, I guess, and everyone's off, you know, maybe off work that's and things true. like that. So that's, that's there true. are pluses and minuses, but maybe you don't get as much as you would have, yeah. <laughs> yeah. present-wise. My son's friend was Boxing Day, and when his mum was having him, that's all she wanted was her Christmas dinner. She didn't care what happened as long as she had her Christmas dinner first. And she did have her Christmas yeah, dinner. Sure. <laughs> and then one of, one of his other friends then was New Year's Eve. And our Paula is Christmas Day. Yeah, I miss someone. And Mandy is New Year's Eve. New Year's Eve. Yeah. 
that's a that's a good party. I think people aren't giving presents on New Year's Eve, so it's like let's celebrate my birthday in style. Yeah. She she Fireworks. hates it though. She hates doesn't it. like it. No, she doesn't celebrate New Year's Eve. But she celebrates a birthday. Yeah, she, <laughs> yeah, she celebrates a birthday. I, I, I suppose it's harder to get everyone around for a... If you're doing a, something for a party or something, maybe it's a little... People are making plans, New Year's Eve plans, so you've always got a clash with... Yeah, there's always something, something going on, isn't there? I guess that's it. Okay, so there's my, my little ribbon trim. And I've cut some hearts using our... I should have another heart somewhere. Hold on. Have got got one that? under there. Oh, I got one maybe. under there, and I thought I had another one. It doesn't matter if I haven't. It's not a problem. Go I'm going to trim trim the edges here, and then we can pop this into place. And one more. One more on the edge. There we are. So we can pop the lid on. I may well find this heart underneath the box now or something. There we are, and um, we've got a couple of little hearts just to pop on top then. So I'm going to put some foam pads on them. I did, yeah. And the box is gone now. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. <laughs> Where's the box? Where's the box now? And I found the other heart. I knew it was <laughs> there knew. somewhere. Yeah, I just there. knew. It's, it's always, always there. there. Except when it isn't. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> got to make one on the, on the cuff. Yeah, yeah. On the hoof. Yeah. Um, I see where it says canvas and hook a uh, lens of wool into it. No, she's talking about the, the, the rug making. So, yeah, you're, you're right, Al. Um, what have we got? There's I actually room. made a rug for my son when he was little. He was very into space at the time. So I made him one with a big rocket ship and the moon and everything That's on nice, there. yeah. Is that still about or is it? Well, we gave it to my neighbour after because they had a little boy then. I mean, my son had grown out of it. Just make sure which side I want to put this on. Um... And Dylan had it for a while then, but I'm Dylan's about 14, 15 now, so I'm sure it's not around now. I, I think some of these things, they, they find their way. Like my, my granddad made Tracy Island for me, which is a big blue piece. Yeah. People remember that. Um, an airport, like these sort of like wooden airports, these big wooden toys, which maybe, you know, he's quite good yeah. at woodworking. And they got given to my I had them, got given to my cousin. And then I think I'm sure they wouldn't be thrown away. And I know they, there's probably someone out there who's got them. You know, Possibly. Yeah. Good work, good work, toys and things like that. It's. Uh, I love wooden toys. I yeah. love the texture. Okay, so I've just performed pads on half of this heart because I want to overlap them. And there's the top of my box. So we've got a couple now where you've got the join in your ribbon. These little ones then will cover the join. So a couple of little foam pads on these as well. And we're nearly done. A couple yeah, of crystal drops. Away. Dun, dun, dun. Don't give me enough time to read all the comments. Been, oh, crack on them, so, There's been these. so many comments today. I, I'll try and say run through them because, okay, so, so many people joining in and you know, on, on Facebook and YouTube. So awesome. And such nice comments and people joining in. Um, I've got... Uh, Michelle says she started with crochet and then did some sewing and cross stitch. Now I'm into card craft and also wedding stationery as a part time business. So if you can oh, find, lovely. you know, a way to use it, to, something you love, exactly, and, and, and work and making you work. I know Ali, you, you know, you do that. You well, do what you love, so that's it. I mean, I can't say I couldn't ask for a better job. <laughs> I really couldn't. And a lot of people do that, you know, you see it, you making, and I hope you enjoy it, and I see loads of batches people do of wedding stuff, and, and I think, God, the work that goes into that, but I guess if you, you know, you do it really, you know, enjoy paper crafting, like those of us do here at Tonic, that, yes, yeah, it's, it's an awesome, what an awesome way to get, you know, get paid to, exactly. to do what you love, pay that's what it's say, pay to play. Uh, Zena says, hi, Owen and Ali, I'm out for, on my birthday outing, oh, hi oh, Zena, happy birthday. Zena. Uh, having a retail therapy at the moment, oh, that's good, well, you can watch it all back Sounds if you do miss fab. any. Um, Donna Joy says, when first was crochet. Crochet is a big, was yeah. a big start there. You're right, Al. I think that's how people are getting into it. Um, to Granny Squares. Yeah. She just says that in a, just says full stop, Granny Squares. Then also, <laughs> punch needle rugs from kids. Still enjoy crocheting. So, oh, I'm glad you still enjoy. I enjoy used to like crochet because it grew quickly. That was my favourite bit. So, I'll turn that around so we've got everything facing the right way because at the moment the lid is facing one way and the bottom is another. Well, a neighbour taught me how to crochet and that was granny squares or I just carried on and made a big blanket and, and I picked up a magazine or a book that showed how the other stitches were done and I carried on that way 
but my mother used to want me to teach her to crochet yeah yeah because she could do a couple of stitches but she couldn't follow a pattern where i could follow a pattern <laughs> <laughs> Look at you. The student doesn't I become know. the master. Clever thing, isn't I? <laughs> so there's our finished box. That's it. Doc. Looks awesome. And you can see a bit of your crystal drops. I didn't hear you mention it, but you've got the crystal drops on yeah, it. And this colour was... That's our red, was, red berry. Yeah, red berry. That's uh, 667N, which is a good Valentine's Day sort of colour. Um, exactly. We've got lots of other colours there, which might suit you know, the mood for whatever your box is, is going to be. Um, I'll do my best to, to go through it. I a few more, because I know <laughs> some people are saying, yeah, obviously in tapestry. Um, it says Catherine, she did that. Um, Chrissy B, first... Uh, uh, she's new to the page, loving it by the way, thank you Chrissy. Um, can, can you buy craft boxes pre-made so, so you go straight to the decorating part? What have we had? Um, we've had like that. It's lots of keepsake stuff. Yeah. Um, oh, I suppose you, have, you can't really, it's not really ready made. Yeah, you, you do have to like maybe die kits. So we've got sort of yeah. lantern boxes and things like that. Yeah. But with it, we don't have. You know, we haven't got one as big as this, have we? There's plenty of stuff on Pinterest and stuff of how to make a basic box, and then you can obviously decorate. Yeah, yourself. you can get. I'm thinking of the papier mache boxes that you can buy, um, or there's there's some wooden ones that you can buy in in some of the um, craft supermarket type places. Yeah, and then you could just paint them and decorate them then. And you can just yeah use your dyes or your embellishments and things yeah. like that to go you know go to town on that and have yeah have something nice to, to give you know in, in yeah. a gift shop um there we go we've got uh, see alison evans you missed the question yeah we asked her how you got into crafting and they start with knitting uh, and then cross stitch and then rug making crochet and car making and <laughs> it spirals out yes, yes we uh, all we all do a bit of everything don't we hated we love it sewing the teacher was horrible so you had a yeah that was teacher. a bit like me is that alison <laughs> no that one oh. was yeah, it is. Yeah, yeah must you be an the same teacher. Oh, I thought you said you said the same teacher. She was horrible. My teacher. Oh, I can't remember. That's not. Oh, name Mrs. Checker, Munson was, like, was mine. Why are you saying she said you were horrible just then? No, she wasn't horrible. It was just me that wasn't interested. Oh, there we go. So yeah. I just won't. My Sorry, mother Mrs. sewed. Munson. Mrs. Munson was my my sewing teacher. Um, Cynthia Smith says, yeah, uh, better late than ever, watch me, you catch up and repeat. Yeah, you can catch us up on, it, they're all uploaded on Facebook and, and on YouTube. Um, Julian says, yeah, started as knitting, uh, dressmaking, her daughter when she was young, so that's, that's cool, making dressmaking, stuff yeah. that you, you're going to yeah, use and, and wear, which is useful. Uh, then uh, Danita Adams, first time crafter, never crafted anything, so I'm looking forward to seeing where my imagination takes me. It's an exciting time. Uh, mm. Me for my tonic dyes that were given to me for Christmas as I'm anxious to start. What dyes did you get oh, for Christmas? Wow. Tell us what ones you got. Uh, we read all the comments later on, so if I don't get a chance to go through them, everyone in the office goes through and, yeah. uh, and, and we answer them if we can, if there are questions there. Uh, oh, oh, Maria says, I finally get to see you live. Hello. Hi. Hello. Uh, 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 Maria. Uh, and then Chrissy B. say March the 26th. I think that's, the, I think, that's, oh, that's Mother's, day. Mother's Day. All oh, right, yeah. right. <laughs> Looking after me, Chrissy. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> thanks, thanks, Chrissy. Um, oh, yeah. Uh, and Christine says, a question about the glue. Does it dry hard or soft? Many glues I use dry really hard, and it makes my cards hard and bulky. No, it doesn't dry very hard. Um, it's a tacky glue. Is it? Yeah. 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 Um, I mean, I've stuck all these together and I can still curl the corner of that. So they're, they're not hard, hard glues that you can't do anything with after. Because sometimes you want to curve your cards and if the glue is too hard, it won't do it. Yeah. I'm just looking for something I've got glue on you. There we are. I can still roll that and that will, will go into a little ring. So that's how flexible the glue is. Yes, um, Maria uh, asks, a uh, question about the Nouveau drops. Are they safe for fabric? Can you use them on textiles? And are they safe for washing? Um, One for rich in the office, maybe. To, to I rich, have rich. put Even them on fabric. Oh, okay. Yeah. Um, I've well, put them on ribbon. Um, and I don't know whether, I don't think they'll wash though. i got to be honest. I think they may, um, whether they will come off in the machine, I'm not sure. I will try it. And I let you know. Yeah, uh, we'll, we'll, let you, we'll let you know, uh, Maria. Like Rich in the office, our engineer. If you ever got any questions about our products, which you'd like us to test, we can always do that. Yeah. Rich loves you know, experimenting and, and, and trying all that stuff out, so I uh, might be able to do that. Um, yeah, Claire joined us. Hi, hi all. Um, got a few someone's born Boxing Day, and she always makes sure she has separate days. Um, there we go. So yeah, so a few people with with days there. I'll, I'll go through and read all these later. Um, Eric says, "Watching you in Chile." Oh, uh, hi, hello. Uh, hi, hi, Eric. Um, there we go, and yes, yeah, so it really says thank See you. See Andy commenting on Mrs. Munson there. Yeah, Mrs. Munson was horrible with kids. <laughs> mean to me too. 
So, Andrew, how could you? <laughs> I feel bad for Mrs. Munson. I, I'm on Mrs. Munson's side. You were bad kids. Let's, let's do it. Poor remember. Mrs. Munson's trying to teach you to sew. And you too. I can remember the cookery teacher telling me to go you and put the washing too, machine you know? on. <laughs> I said, I don't know how to miss. And she said, well, don't you do the washing in the house? I said, no, my mother wouldn't trust me with the washing machine. <laughs> This was in the days before an automatic mind. It was yeah. a twin tab. Okay. Well, I said, you know, that's... I would never, like a teacher... I, I, my, my teachers were all lovely. I, I can't think of it. Of, of, of many I didn't like, if you are watching. I bet you fit, Ben. Oh, they were nice. They were, they were all nice. Um, yeah, no, I'll read that one about Boxing Day Listen, to, to finish then. Um, my daughter was born on Boxing Day, and we always have made sure she has a separate day. I, I would... Uh, uh, and, and a midwife and making me go to bed and, and do some Christmas and cry and told him um, uh, d- yeah it, it's good to have separate days I think you know it, it, and that day and, and it's nice to have that it was a long comment I, I tried to go to that it. conclusion of it. yeah it was good to have separate days but you know, that, that's, you know it's, a, it's a nice message there and I'll, I'll go through them all but yeah lovely messages oh, God, from, 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 messages. from everyone today and we'll go through them uh, thanks everyone for, for joining us if you do have any questions we do a show on Friday as well on 4pm so and you can watch that back you don't have to watch live you can watch it back and that's where we show your cards which you've been making or, or your your crafty projects uh, on Friday's show and that's that's called Ask Tonic Show Tonic that show and it's 4pm same place uh, as you watched them today and, and they're on there we had a question last week as well about place card place name card is that place, place name cards name cards <laughs> something like what are they? What I can't even think yeah, what it's yeah, called yeah. at the I moment know. I know name <laughs> Yeah. You know what I mean? When when you go to a wedding or you go to a special party and your name is all there waiting for you. Yeah. We want someone want I can't remember who he was, but I will find out by Friday. Wanted some ideas of what to do for those. So I'm gonna have a little go at that on Friday. Yeah, we'll we'll, we'll do that and it's usually um a bit of chat, you know, and, and we go through uh, your cards and have a little look. So if you do want to upload any of your cards, go onto Facebook, type in Tonic Live Chat at the top of the page. Uh, and to join that group, just request to join, we'll accept you and just upload your cards and if you hashtag it with uh, show tonic and hashtag is that simple, so to, 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 to that one and show tonic, we can find it then and we just show it on the show and we go through them, the cards are always awesome and the projects are brilliant uh, and we go through. So it's some it, clever viewers. Yeah, some clever viewers, so it's a nice wind down uh, for the weekend then. Um, yeah, so get uploading your cards, you know, if you can, so any new viewers there, yeah, do it because we'd love to see them and uh, yeah, so you can go on Facebook with the way it's on the bottom of the screen there. If you're watching on YouTube, go over to Facebook, take a look, plenty of, uh, plenty stuff they're telling you about launches new products we got coming out loads of info our next live shows loads of stuff so lots on there uh youtube so if you're on facebook and you haven't gone onto youtube before it's, it's great you know you've got <coughs> loads of tutorials you know not just by tonic studios but loads of crafting tutorials there for you to, to find out so if you want to make a paper box like someone mentioned earlier i have yeah. no doubt there, there there is one you know on <laughs> several hundred on, on there for you so if you go over there go over to the tonic studios channel and we got loads of tonic videos on there and subscribe to the page and like which means we can keep doing these videos that, you know if people enjoy them all right what we got next up Twitter, um, they're, they're quite short, punchy, you know, telling you, you know, when we're going live and things like that, and uh, just general like show times, things like that. So lots of bits and pieces on Twitter. Uh, we got Inst- uh, we got Pinterest. Sorry, uh, Pinterest. Uh, Pinterest. That's if you haven't been on Pinterest before, which you know, I know a lot of you haven't. That's a great place for inspiration for your mm. project. So if if you're doing project, maybe even home decor things like yeah. that, just. It's got everything, gardening, I know we always say that one as well. Uh, but if you go on there, every product that we do, that we launch, we do a board there full of the cards, which are you know, really talented, crafty ladies yeah. that, that we got working for us. They, uh, that they do, and we upload those on there. So, yeah, lots of interest. Give it a try, have a look. I'm sure you won't be disappointed. And that's Instagram, finally. So if you are on Instagram, which is a, it's a place where, you know, nice pictures are taken, nice images, you go on there, and we've got some of our best shots and some really creative stuff for, for our products. So I'll say something else. I thought you were going to say something. No, I wasn't going to say anything <laughs> you at all at me. Um, yeah, so that, that's all of us across social media, you know, and there's plenty there on, on different platforms, so, you know, plenty to follow. Uh, but, you know, thanks everyone for joining in. So many lovely people commenting, and uh, I, I will, we'll go through them all later and read them, because I maybe we didn't get a chance later. to do everyone justice today and on there. But, yeah, uh, join us on Friday if you can, or watch back later on and still comment on the video, because we can still see it and read back. But from the Tonic Trio, uh, we'll see you on Friday, see all right? Friday. Have a good week, everyone. Bye. See you soon. Bye. Bye.